Hey, it's Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to Reverend Jay Presents Collections. And today is going to be the second part of the Wind Up Toys episode. Today we're going to be doing things that are wind up toys. Last time we did robots and people. So first we have a. It's a little eye. It's an eye wind up toy. And you can see here he's got the little veins, little pink feet, just like a regular eye, like any one of us would have. We'll just wind it up. And this is what I really liked about this particular wind-up toy, is the way it moved. How cute is Oh my god. And it's gone. Okay. So that's one down. Now, number two we have here is a, a brain. And this one reminded me of the brains from Futurama that tried to take over the Earth. And you can see that the ridges aren't really, I think, uh, anatomically correct. But it's very brain-like. It's made out of rubber-ish stuff. And it's got a pretty strong mechanism. I've given this one a lot of play. And let, let's, let's watch her go. Oh. She's got a very much, of course, very snail-like appearance, too. Give her another quick wind. See if we can't get her to, uh, here we go. And that's that. So you can see it's a brain with some eye stalks. And that's what it looks like on the bottom. It's got little feet. It's a good toy. And here's something that's a little bit uh, out of control, too. This is the uh, Wind Up Sushi. Uh, technically, this is Wind Up Tuna Sushi. If it'll focus in on there. Yes. And you can see it's got the rice and the little wheels, just like real sushi. And watch her go. This thing is crazy. Whoop. It went the wrong way. Hold on. Watch her go. It's just crazy. See, look at that. Uh, say hi to the eyeball. Okay. So next up, we have another classic uh, wind-up toy, Chattering Teeth. And that's what they do. Next. I really like this wind-up snake that I bought because of uh, the way it kind of imitates a snake's action. You'll see what I mean. It kind of wiggles as it moves. And it'll go quite far, too. And just look at it go. Now, I have not really thought this out. Well, at least I got them on videotape before I broke them all. Next up, we have... Oh my God, the snake is still going. It's, it's coming back. It's actually... The snake actually fell on the floor and came back. So, I'm impressed. It's still going. Next we have... It's a chick. Baby chicken. And what I like about this one is that it's plush. So you can kind of pet it and it's soft. And also because, like the snake, it really kind of imitates the animal it's supposed to be. Watch that. Look at him go. Hey, there he goes. And... Another broken toy. Okay. So. I found this. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think it's supposed to be a flying saucer. Or a, uh. I don't know. Any guesses, please put them in the comments below. I, I think it's a flying saucer. It could be any number of things. But, uh, it's a great one. Because... Again, it's one of these just kind of goes all out of control. Let's go. Um, oh, that was a fail right there. Let's uh, actually put this down a little bit farther up. Okay, so here we go. See? And it. Ah. Okay. So, anyway, uh, those are the wind up toys that I have. Uh, you've seen both the robots and people, and now the things that are wind-up toys. 
Uh, I've got one final one for you right here uh, to end up the episode. And this is a wind-up fish. So I hope you liked this episode. I hope you had an uh, entertaining time. This is what it looks like in a small tub of water. And this is what it looks like in the sink. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time on Reverend J Presents Collection. Cut.